And did you ever see him the second time around? 175, we saw when he flashed us, it flew right into us. You just heard the moment American Airlines pilots avoided a head-on collision with another aircraft near Austin Bergstrom International Airport earlier this week. The thing that really saved the day wasn't luck. It was a system that's been designed and refined over many years. On Wednesday, an American Airlines Boeing 737 carrying 122 passengers and six crew members narrowly avoided a crash with a Cessna 182 during its landing approach at ABIA. Flight Radar 24 data shows the American flight was about 350 feet above the Cessna, with both being separated by less than 800 feet, or less than the length of a football field. According to the FAA, the Cessna unexpectedly crossed into the path of the American Airlines flight. Roger, yeah, he immediately turned south down. I was trying to get you out of the way. Sorry about that. No worries. And Roger, if uh, you want to declare uh, uh, near miss, let us know. The American Airlines pilots received an alert from their Traffic Collision Avoidance System, or TCAS, and took action to avoid a hit. That maneuver by the American Airlines flight then brought them too close to a small private jet. This led air traffic controllers to direct the jet to change course immediately to avoid another potential collision. I think that um, this is an example of aviation professionals doing what they do well, uh, responding to issues when they arise, and then trying to keep everybody safe. This incident mirrors a previous incident in Austin in February of 2023, when a FedEx plane coming in for a landing nearly collided with a Southwest plane already on the runway. FedEx pilots had to execute a go-around maneuver to avoid a collision coming within 150 feet of another plane. As a result, ABIA received an air traffic tower simulator system in January of this year to train personnel in combat safety issues. But Austin Congressman Lloyd Doggett says there's not enough staff to train. He says Austin Air Traffic Control is facing a staffing crisis, something he says the FAA hasn't addressed. Let's not have a loss of life before the FAA does its job. The FAA says they're investigating the incident, but aviation experts say with ABIA's number of close calls, they wouldn't be surprised if the nation's Transportation Safety Board got involved. If it's something that they see as part of a pattern, it's certainly something they're going to be looking into as well. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.